Hey planner friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning from the 28th of March to the 3rd of April in my medium passion planner. Let's get started. So the kit that I'm using this week is We're Not Alone from Fantasy Design Store and I really loved the sort of alien conspiracy theory vibe of this kit so I figured it worked for April Fool's Day. As always to start off the pen base of this spread I've shaded in the parts of the timelines where I'm going to be asleep and then I've gone in with my Grace Stabilo fan liner to mark in my alarm times, split my personal and work to do sections in half to give myself some extra checklist space and also create a 5 day habit tracker for things I have to do at work every single day. As the start of this week was in March but the end of the week is April I'm going to be using green and purple as my theme colours but this kit didn't quite go with the forest green that I've been using for the rest of March so I'm using this green passion marker instead. Because the left hand side of the page is all in March I'm using that green passion marker to colour in all of the checkboxes in the bottom left hand corner as well as using the fine liner side to mark in my work hours for all of the days that are in March. I'm then moving over to a purple passion marker for the days that are in April as purple is my theme colour for April and I'm using the fine liner side to add in my work hours for Friday and then then the chisel tip side to colour in the daily focus boxes of the days where I'm not going to be at work. Next I'm using my Pilot Friction Pen to add in all of my meals for the week, so breakfast, lunch and dinner for each day, and then I'm going to highlight over that with the corresponding month colour. For this green passion marker I had to highlight over everything twice because it came out so pale, and I usually only have to do that with the fine liner side of passion markers. I found that there are some colours of passion markers that definitely come out more pigmented than others. As always, these meals aren't exact times that I'm going to be eating, but they do make sure that I don't overload myself with too much stuff in the evenings and also allow me to keep that pop of my theme colour going throughout the spread. I did consider colour blocking this week so that I didn't have such a defined like break between March and April, but I'm already using a kit format that I'm not super familiar with, so I just decided to stick with having all of the days in March in green and the days in April in purple. So that's it for my pen base, now we can start adding some stickers in and as always I'm starting with my meal plan tracker which is just something that I made in Excel and print off on sticker paper myself. Next I'm adding one of the half boxes from the kit into the weekly focus box and the half boxes from Fantasy Design Store kits fit perfectly in the weekly focus box which was really fun to see. I'm then using one of the habit trackers from the kit and a decorative box to cover up the quote section and that's it for my sidebar. Moving on to my washi headers and I've cut two 7mm strips for the personal and work to do sections and the space of infinite possibility header and then a 6mm strip to create my extra gratitude header in the bottom left hand corner. These fantasy design store kits do come with full bottom washi as if they were for a standard vertical kit so I had to just measure these and cut them rather than having a 15mm strip that I could cut in half. This is another week where I forgot to add in my weekend banner in my base, so zooming in and starting on Monday. I'm first using a quarter box and a book icon from the kit to mark in that I was doing send outs at work this day. And coming back from being ill and then having a day of annual leave straight back into doing send outs was not what I wanted for a Monday, but it wasn't too bad. Then for Monday evening I'm just using one of my pinky stickers printables to mark in a yoga class and then we can move on to Tuesday where I'm using one of the patterned washi strips in the kit with a work from home script and planner face to mark in that I was working from home. There is a header page that you can get from Fantasy Design Store because all of their kits are a la carte but I didn't pick it up for some reason this time so I'm just using the patterned washi strips instead. Next I'm using a quarter box and a coffee cup doodle from the kit to mark in a meeting that I had on Tuesday morning. Tuesday evening I'm adding in my first weight session of the week, again using one of my pinky stickers printables and that's pretty much it so we'll move on to Wednesday. So there's no event labels in this kit so I was a little bit confused as to how I was going to mark in Judy Scientist because as you may have noticed I pretty much do the same thing every week but I'm using this glitter quarter box and then a thicker piece of washi from the kit as usual with one of my joy of planning scientist girls to mark in my two sessions of Judy Scientist on Wednesday. And in between those to make sure I got the spacing right I'm adding in this flagged quarter box to mark in at my usual seminar on Wednesday afternoon. I'm not hugely keen on the flags on these boxes from Fantasy Design Store so I've covered it up with this phone icon from the kit. I can then add in that thicker piece of washi to mark my second session of Duty Scientist on Wednesday afternoon. Moving on to Wednesday evening I'm using one of the glittered third boxes from the kit to mark in that two of my friends were supposed to be coming over for a walk with Reggie but unfortunately they had to cancel but thankfully this kit comes with rescheduled stickers so I could just pop one of those over it instead. For 
flipping over and moving on to Thursday, I'm using another one of the patterned washi strips to mark in working from home, along with a work from home script from Planner Face. I'm then adding in my second weight session of the week with another pinky stickers printable, and adding in a bin doodle from Planner Face to mark in a reminder to take the bins out. I'm then using a washi strip from the kit with a YouTube button icon from Ickle Co, and an upload script from Planner Face to mark in uploading my April monthly that went up on Thursday. To mark April Fool's Day on Friday, I've added a quarter box into the daily focus box and then I'm just adding in my interval run in the evening using a pinky stickers printable. Then I'll move on to Saturday where I'm first marking out my planning time in the morning using a flag from the kit and a planner doodle and planning script from Planner Face. Oh my god, that's, I said planner way too many times there. I'm then using a glitter third box from the kit with some deco and an edit script from Planner Face to mark editing and recording this voiceover. For Saturday afternoon, I'm using another one of my pinky stickers printables to mark in my third weight session of the week. And then I'm using one of the half boxes from the kit to mark in whatever we get up to on Saturday evening. And these half boxes are a little bit shorter than the ones I would normally use from other kits. So I've just added in a little bit of washi between the half box and dinner so that it takes up that space. I had to play around with the spacing loads and I'm really surprised that I didn't absolutely mangle these stickers, putting them down and taking them up so many times, but they've survived. Moving on to Sunday, I'm first using a quarter box and the grocery doodle from the kit to mark in that I have to do the groceries in the morning tomorrow. And then I've pulled out a three hot checklist box from my stash to mark out a chunk of cleaning time for Sunday morning. Again, I think you can get checklist boxes from Fantasy Design Store, but I didn't get that page when I ordered this kit. I think I've had this kit in my stash waiting to be used for like a year maybe. It's definitely been a long time. Moving on to Sunday afternoon, I'm using another bit of washi from the kit with another YouTube button icon from Ickle & Co and an upload script from Planner Face to mark in uploading this video, and then adding in my final workout for the week using another pinky stickers printable. So here's where I finally remember to add in the weekend banner, and then I'm going to go in and add some of the decorative boxes from the kit to fill in some of that space where I'm going to be at work, as I don't like putting too much work stuff in this planner. As always, I've cut down these stickers vertically on the sticker paper and then I'm trimming them horizontally on my planner so they fit nicely within the timelines. And this one that I'm putting down on Thursday was a little bit of an extra challenge because I still wanted that alien head to be centered, so I had to trim off both sides. I then still wasn't super happy with the positioning of it, so after trimming both sides, I peeled it up and stuck it back down in pretty much the exact same place as usual. And then to finish off this spread, I'm just going to add in some checklists for the top two or three things that I got done at work each day. So this kit came with some long checklists and some short checklists. I've cut all of the checklists that I'm using down to three hearts and also trimmed the flag portions off the bottom just so they fit nicely within the space that I have left in my planner. Unless I'm doing a colour blocking spread, I don't like there to be too much of one colour on a particular day, so when I'm putting my checklists down, I'm looking at what other colours of stickers are around it and then picking one that isn't near it. I also ended up trimming like a millimetre off the top of some of these checklists, just so there is white space between it and the sticker above it, which is totally unnecessary. So that's it for all of my stickers, now I can go back and fill in all of my plans, as usual using my Pilot Friction pen. So this week has been a week. I've been super busy at work because I basically had half of last week off due to illness and also annual leave. So it was a bit of a bump back to reality on Monday when I had so much work piled up on my desk and I had to start by organizing all the piles that people had left me. Unfortunately, my friends had to cancel coming over on Wednesday, but it was kind of a blessing in disguise as I was so exhausted after work that I really appreciated having an evening where I didn't actually have to do anything. Thursday and Friday were pretty much a slog through to the weekend and the weekend is here now and I'm just having a really chill one. So all I've got to do today is go to the gym and do my planning, which I've pretty much already done. And then tomorrow is just a day of kind of sorting the house out and getting ready for a new week. 
I definitely need to do a lot of vacuuming because this week there is just Reggie fur everywhere. We don't know what he's crossed with, he's mostly Jack Russell, but he's just shedded loads ever since it was kind of nice and sunny the other week. And when you wear mostly black and almost every surface in your house is covered in white fur, it really shows up. Aside from that, not much else to do this weekend. It's kind of boggling my brain that we're already in April, but I am really looking forward to this month because I do have a couple fun things planned, as well as some annual leave and obviously the long Easter bank holiday weekend, which will be a lovely break from work. I'm hoping the weather improves though because we had that one nice week at the end of March and now it's back to like 10 degrees and kind of miserable outside all the time. I, I live in Bristol, so we didn't even get any snow the other day. It's just been overcast and cold. My focus for this week was to get back in the habit of doing some of my migraine prevention stuff. I think I've done pretty good at that. I really feel a lot better than I did this time last week, which is always a plus. But that's all of my pre-planning done for this week. Let's take a look at the finished spread. So here is the spread all filled out and I really like how this one's turned out in my planner. It's always a little bit weird using a format of kit that you haven't used in a long, long time and trying to still make it look like your normal planning style, but I think I did pretty well with this one. And I think an alien themed pastel kit is still springy enough for me. So that's everything for this video friends. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed it, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!